Okay, I've got 24 hours before I gotta jet out of town, so I've installed this automatic fish food feeder here, and let's see if I got all the settings right, or if it's about to dump a metric ton of food into the aquarium. Hi, my name is Irene with Aquarium Co-op, and usually when I go on vacation, I don't actually feed my aquarium fish just because in the wild, they have to hunt for their own food, they don't always get a meal every day, and so in reality, they can go for a week or so without food as long as everybody is healthy. But now that I've got an aquarium that's teeming full of baby fish, they've got really tiny stomachs and sometimes need to eat multiple times a day. So instead of getting a pet sitter, I'm thinking of setting up this aquarium co-op auto feeder. All right, let's see what the package comes with. We've got a USB charging cable, which is nice because that means there's no batteries to replace. The actual auto feeder itself. And then a big round sticker. Oh, I guess in case I don't want to use the mounting clamp, I can pull this thing off and then use the adhesive pad to stick the auto feeder on the tank lid or something. And then of course the manual. The auto feeder is already pre-charged, which is cool, but if three to six months down the road, I see that the batter battery indicator is low, I can just plug in this USB micro B cable over here and then plug the other end into like a USB wall charger plug for my phone or something. Now to fill the auto feeder with fish food, this part took a little finagling because I was afraid of breaking the thing, but I found out you can just put your thumbs on the bottom set of lines over here for a better grip and then push it upwards to pop open that food drum lid. To adjust how much food comes out of the auto feeder, the top set of lines over here is the food adjustment door. So I just stick my fingernail between the lines and then I slide it downward to adjust how big the opening is. Now, if too much food is coming out even when the opening is barely open, a little hack I found is that you can stick a piece of scotch tape or masking tape or something to cover part of the opening, so now my betta fish would only get 4 to 5 pellets of feeding instead of 20. Okay, now we finally get to the programming. The instructions looked a little intimidating at first, but once I played with it a while, it's just like programming a digital watch that feeds your fish. <laughs> so you can just turn it on by holding the power button up top for three seconds. And then if for some reason you want to store the auto feeder and put it away, you can turn it off the same way. This gear button over here is a program button. So every time you push it, it's like saying next because it lets you toggle through all the different options. You can't go backwards in the menu though, just forwards. Whereas the manual feed button, that's like the OK or save button. So if you want to stop programming stuff, just hit the feed button. First, we're going to set the time by holding the gear button for three seconds. And then you can see the hour number is now blinking, which means we can change it. So it's about, I don't know, 1127 on my watch. So I'm going to use the down arrow to go down to 11 a.m. Now, once I'm done, I'll press the gear button again to go next. And now the minutes number is blinking. So now I can press or hold the up button until I get to 28 minutes. Now, if I just wanted to set the clock, now would be the time where I press the feed button to say, okay, I'm done. But in this case, I want to keep programming. So let's press the gear button to get to the next option, which is my first feeding time. So quick pause, you can see that there's four boxes right underneath the clock. The first box is blinking, so that's how I know which feeding time I'm working on. I want my fishies to get their breakfast at 7.15 a.m. So I click the up button to get 7 a.m., press the gear button again to go next, and then I'm going to click the up button again to get 15 minutes. Now that I've set the time of the first feeding, I'm going to click the gear button to go to the next option. And then you can see only that first box is flashing. If I hit the up or down arrow, it lets me set whether I want the food drum to rotate one time, two times, or three times, or, or zero times at 7.15 AM. So for me, I'm just gonna select one rotation. And if you press the gear button again to go next, that's how you basically set the time and number of rotations for all the other times of the day. So since there are four boxes underneath the clock, you can program up to four feeding times per day. In my case, I'm gonna give them lunch at noon with one drum rotation, and then dinner at 6.30 p.m. with one rotation. 
I don't want to set a fourth feeding time, so I'm just going to press the feed button or OK to stop my programming session. But if I had kept clicking the gear button, eventually I would cycle through all the options and then go back to the beginning where I can set the clock again. The final trick for programming this thing is that if you totally messed up your schedule and you don't want to have to manually change everything, just hold down that down button for five seconds and it will erase the entire feeding schedule. So it won't clear the clock though, which is nice. Alrighty then, let's get this auto feeder clamped onto the aquarium rim and do a trial run. If I was a good fish keeper, I would have done this several days in advance before leaving to make sure that everything was working properly, but now I've only got one day. Oh, I forgot to add the food, so I'm using extreme nano pellets in this case because I find that pellets tend to pour out really easily because they're all the same size. Now, it's already mid-morning, so let's wait for noon to roll around. Woohoo, and there we go! All the fish are instantly rushing over to eat, and yeah, I think that's the right amount of food, especially since I'm feeding them three times a day, and I don't want to overfeed the tank and risk fouling the water with too much food while I'm gone. Wow, given how smoothly this thing is running, I think I might keep it set up even after I get back from vacation just because Corey has this whole video over here on how he uses auto feeders to really up his game when it comes to breeding big and healthy fry. So, hmm, might keep this thing around. Anyways, enjoy Nature Daily and I'll see you in the next one.